Hello, good evening and welcome fellow YouTubers, musicians, gentlemen, ladies, aliens. Um, today we're going to do something a little, I would say a little bit different because every day is different. Um, what we're going to look at is about managing the CPU usage of Omnisphere. What prompted this was I've come across a lot of posts recently on different forums, on Facebook and other um, forums I frequent where people are struggling with managing the CPU usage of Omnisphere and it is a beast Omnisphere when on certain patches, some patches are very light but others, the more technical and more intricate patches, they can suck CPU like nothing on earth. Just to give you an idea, I'm going to play you a little snippet of something I'm working on at the moment and the machine I'm working on is no slouch of machine. It's a Core i9 9900K with 80 gig of RAM. Yep, you heard, 80 gig of RAM. And we are running it off um, an NVMe drive, so an M2 SD, SSD drive. So speed isn't an issue, but listen to what happens. Yeah. It's crackling. That's because the CPU is under so much pressure, it's untrue. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up uh, performance. Now my GPU's fine, CPU's fine, but what I want you to do is keep an eye. I hope it's not too small on your screen, but that CPU no when I press play. You see that shoot right up there, you see, it's right on 100% max, yeah, hang on a second, none of the other cores are being used, what's going on? So although Omnisphere is multi-timbral in that it's got eight parts you can play with, it's not multi-core, so that is going to be an issue. So if, like I've done here, I've done a schoolboy error, I have six tracks, I've got eight set but I've got six actually with something on and each one of them is going to suck on CPU like you wouldn't believe. Now how can you manage your CPU if you've got eight parts and you can't play all eight parts? Well there's a few things you can do and I'm just going to take you through them now. Um, first of all what you can do is you can cut the number of voices down per patch. So I'm just going to wind that back to where it starts crackling. And what we look at is, I've got 16 voices there, well, I know, I don't have 16 fingers. Well, last time I counted it, I had 8 fingers and 2 thumbs. Um, so, unless I've grown an appendage somewhere, I don't have that many to play with. So, what I'm going to do, I know I haven't used any more than 6 voices uh, on, well, 6 notes. So, I'm going to go for 8 voices. Uh, track 2. Um, this is going to be the same, see set for 24, I am not playing 24 voices, so I'm going to go for 8. Uh, 3, I've got one voice there, that's on one voice, it's a monophonic patch, fine, no problem. Number 4, we've got 16 voices, um, that again, I can get away with 8. 5, I've got 8 voices sat there, I'm only playing one lead line, so just in case there's voice overlap and stuff, uh, I'm just going to stick it to two so it doesn't cut the voice off because if you don't, it, it'll cut the voice off and you just lose the feel of what you've actually recorded. And this is, I know this is a piano-y type sound. So I've got 16 voices there playing. I don't want 16 voices. Let's go down to four. Right, now we've done that, let's play it back. I'll still crackle, but... It's crackling, but if I just go to performance, this is just going to demonstrate a point here. It's, it's, it's not the solution, I know, but it just demonstrates a point. Now, if you look at that CPU, it's nowhere near maximum. You, I've gone and taken it down, what, a good 10, 15%? Now, what I could do, I could alter my ASIO buffers. Um, Tell you what, let's do that. Let's alter my ASIO buffers. Um, it's that one. 
I want to go to 1024. We'll go 1024. This should play back all right now. Oh, maybe not. I'm wrong. Oh, schoolboy error. In Cubase, if I arm a track, it uses CPU usage. So I disarm that track. See that CPU suddenly come down? That's massive. So if I arm that track, that CPU climbs. Take that CPU off and... It plays back absolutely fine. I can actually probably lower that even further. Um, back to 120. I always work at 128 samples because uh, this, you know, it's a beast of machine, so it'll take it'll take it. There you go, 128. But you arm that track. You see, it's still still quite high. Now, one other way around this is if I no, I don't want Talion. I want Omnisphere. If I open another instance of Omnisphere, I'll just shut that down for a second, and I say, right, I'll tell you what, I want to put Monument to the Stars. Monument to the Stars. Yes, Adrian can type. Don't die with shock. There we go, Monument to the Stars. Uh, let's just leave it as it is, 24. And I now initialize that patch. Yep. All right. And now I'm going to pull that out, Omnisphere 2. I'm going to pull that out to Omnisphere 02 MIDI. And it should still play in theory. Oh, no, nope. I need to change that to channel one because on channel one now so that's still playing now I left that track on on purpose just to give you an idea that there's less crackling going on and I'm going to show you something else in a minute on Paragon Force we're going to take that across come on there we go, it's always a slight delay. Para, para, gone, force. And we say, right, paragon force. We'll put that on track two. That's on three there, so I'll change that to Omnisphere 02, MIDI 2, and I initialize that patch. And the crackling's getting less. And if you look, that CPU usage is also evening out. We're using core three more, uh, to our CPU two, so it's the third core. Because in good old computer world, there's no one. It starts off with zero, so it's all sort of zero, one, two, three, four. So although you've got 16 cores, it only comes not to 15. But that's the computer. We're getting into computer realms there. Not a computer technic technologist, I'm a musician, so I'm not going to attempt to explain whys and wherefores. And now we go to take somber fragments across. I tell you what we're going to do actually. We're going to start another atmosphere because you can have as many as you want. You're not you're not like hardware. You've got one instrument and that's it. I'm going to go now to some fragment and I'm going to say there we go that's on patch one so um, patch four I want to play on one and I want to play that on the third Omnisphere and I then want to initialize that patch Yes, I do. The reason why I'm initializing it is because then it wipes that instrument from the patch memory. So it, otherwise you're not going to get 
uh, any CPU back. And this time, it gets even less. You're crackling. Still there, but if I take that arm off track off, watch that. And then we go, look at this, you see. We're evening out our CPU cycles even more. So, when in doubt, start moving your instruments around a bit. Because uh, I said somber fragment on here was, what was it? Um, I don't want to use, I want 88 voices. And then I want... That was one voice. I don't want 24 voices. I want eight voices there. And we'll use even less now. And I'm just going to arm a track. Yeah, we get crackling. But it's nowhere near as bad as the beginning, because at the beginning, it just absolutely tore it to shreds. And you can see on the CPU cycles that we've actually moved the load from CPU note. We're moving it across. So each time you use an Omnisphere, you're actually shifting it to another core as well. So there we go. A little tips and tricks on how to try and balance out your CPU. Some of it's trial and error. But if you're going to use a lot of very complicated instruments, or very sonically speaking complicated, um, which this track is doing, then don't try and put them all on one instance of Omnisphere because it's not going to work. It's just you're just going to fall apart and you're going to end up with a tearing, horrible audio mess. Um, once you start balancing them out, lower the voice count. That helps enormously. Um, if you're still getting crackling, then you can always go to your ASIO interface change the 128 I'm gonna to go to 512 this time I'll play it back I'll arm a track still crackles a bit but still nowhere near as bad as it was so you can always freeze a track as well in your um, door I'll show you how to do that in a different video because this one's getting long as it is now um, but you can freeze a track and then that gives you even more CPU cycles back. So there we go. This is just a quick tip on how to um, sort of balance Omnisphere out, get a few more CPU cycles back. I'm distorting a bit, tearing a bit because I am rec screen recording, which is robbing P CPU cycles as well. So that's not going to help. I think if I wasn't recording, I probably would have solved all my crackles anyway um, and it would have all gone so give it a try if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel ding that bell in the top as you look at the screen top right hand corner and uh, you'll be notified when the next video is so comments below if you want any more tips tricks on Omnisphere or got any more thoughts what you would like to see on this channel and I'll see you in the next one